a lot happened in the Massachusetts real estate market in 2023. Everyone said that home prices were going to go down. But for the most part, they didn't. And looking at the data, there is no rhyme or reason to the towns that saw housing prices go down. So let's first look at the top and bottom five towns that are south of Boston for single family homes. We're going to go over the amount of sales as well as how much the town appreciated or depreciated. Now, there is no perfect line that draws the exact towns that make up south of Boston that would then possibly lead into Metro West. The data is great, but what are the exact towns? That's up for a little bit of, uh, well, your interpretation. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then know I'm here to help. All right, let's start with the top appreciating towns. The fifth highest appreciating town that is south of Boston is Somerset, Massachusetts. Now, the town closed 143 units in 2023, which is a 12.1% decrease in sales levels. There were 165 closings in Somerset in 2022. This was the lowest sales decrease for all of the towns in the top five. The average sales price in 2023 was $471,000, which is a 12.3% increase over 2022's $419,000. There was a little discrepancy when he looked at median pricing, as median pricing shows Somerset appreciating 7.8%. The fourth best appreciating town south of Boston was all Massachusetts. All had 79 sales in 2023, which was 26.2% lower than the 107 units that sold in 2022. The average sales price increased 13.1% in 2023. Sales prices jumped from 814 grand compared to the $720,000 in 2022. The median sales price showed a similar price gain as the median price of $670,000 was 12.6% higher than the median price in 2022. Now the third best performing town south of Boston is North Attleboro, Massachusetts. The 171 home sales in 2023 was a top five town high of 31.1% lower than the 248 units that sold in 2022. Prices were up though by 13.5% with an average sales price of $639,000 in 2023, which is compared to the $563,000 in 2022. Median pricing, that told it a little bit of a different story with prices being up by 6.2% to $570,000. The second best performing town south of Boston is Marshfield, Massachusetts. We saw 187 houses closed in 2023, and the 187 units was a 18% sales decrease from levels of 2022, as there were 228 units that sold back then. Home prices were up 14%, though, with an average sales price of $855,000 in 2023, which is compared to the $751,000 in 2022. Median prices were up a similar amount, with a 12.1% increase to $742,500. And that leads us to the best performing town south of Boston. Now, Cushnet, Massachusetts, saw 58 closed single-family houses, which was a 22.7% decrease in sales levels compared to the 75 closed units that sold in 2022. Meanwhile, the average sales price was up by 16% in 2023, with an average sales price of $517,000. The median price of $472,500 showed a similar 13.6% appreciation rate over the levels of 2022. Now, there were 13 out of the 59 south of Boston towns that saw whole prices decline in 2023. Considering that this was going to be a big year of home price declines, there weren't that many losers. Now, the fifth biggest losing town south of Boston was Duxbury, Massachusetts. Duxbury saw 122 single-family houses sell in 2023, which was a 19.8% decrease in closed sales levels from 2022 sales levels of 152 units. Now, the average sales price dipped 3.4% to $1.271 million from last year's $1.316 million. Median pricing, however, showed a little bit different of a story. Prices were actually up when you look at median pricing. The $1.025 million median price is 7.5% higher than the median price in 2022. Now, the fourth town with the biggest average sale decline south of Boston 2022 is Sharon, Massachusetts. The 132 units closed was a 33.7% decrease 
from the 199 units that were sold in 2022. Home prices and share were down by 4% as the average sales price in 2023 was $841,000 compared to the average sales price in 2022 of $876,000. Again, the median pricing, that told a little bit of a different story, however, as the median prices had no change year over year with a median price of $775,000. The third biggest losing town south of Boston in 2023 was Situate, Massachusetts. Situate saw 163 homes sell in 2023, which was a 27.9% decline in sales levels. There were 226 closed units in 2022. The average sales price fell 4.5% to $1.041 in 2023, which is compared to the 2022 average sales price of $1.091 million. The median price showed up, similar story, with prices falling by 5% to $865,000. The second worst performing town south of Boston was Rockland, Massachusetts. Now, Rockland had 96 homes closed, which was a 16.5% decrease when compared to the 115 single family houses that closed in 2022. Home prices were down by 4.9% year over year with the average sales price of $493,000 in 2023 compared to the $518,000 that we saw in 2022. Median pricing was down slightly. The median price of $492,500 was a half percent less than the 495 grand median price that we saw in 2022. And this brings us to the biggest losing town that was south of Boston in 2023. Cohasset, Massachusetts owned this top, or I guess really this bottom spot. Cohasset had 59 homes closed, which was 34.4% less than the 2022 sales levels of 90 single family houses selling. Meanwhile, the average sales price was down 7.1% with a 2023 average sales price of $1.617 million compared to the $1.74 million sales price in 2022. Median pricing, however, showed a completely different story with home prices actually being up by 7.2% to $1.474 million. Curious about the biggest winners and losers of towns maybe north of Boston or even west of Boston or how about down on the Cape? Well, be on the lookout as those videos, they're already out. So just check our feed and let me know if you have any questions. You can drop me a line in the comment section below, or I invite you to reach out to me as all of my contact information, it's in the description below, right down there. As always, I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind should you or anyone else that you know be thinking about buying or selling a house in Massachusetts. Until next time.